I must ask you, I was, um, forgive me for getting nostalgic, I was here, well not here, in Chicago, yeah. the night of the election, and I remember seeing that great mass of people, and looking at them and looking at you, and thinking there is no man on earth that is capable of, you know, living up to those expectations. <laughs> Did you, did you feel that burden? Oh, I, I, absolutely. I, look, uh, you know, uh, our campaign, I think, became a repository for a lot of hopes and, and, and a lot of dreams, and I think that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, but we understood that uh, governance is different from campaigning. It's hard. It's complicated. It involves uh, making choices, some of them not very attractive choices, uh, and that at any given stage, there are going to be some people who are disappointed. Mm -hmm. um, but what, what keeps me hopeful uh, is not any uh, uh, oversized view of my own capabilities. Uh, what keeps me hopeful is uh, that uh, the more I meet people here in this country, the more I meet people abroad, the more convinced I am that uh, there's a common humanity, uh, a common set of aspirations that people have for their children. Uh, I think there's a core decency to people uh, that sometimes history, institutions, lack of opportunity uh, prevent from being realized, and that the general trajectory of, uh, of history is is in a positive direction but it it takes time and and so you know my job is to to do my small part uh, to to move the ball forward um, you know one of my favorite uh, phrases is from uh, Martin Luther King who said the the arc of the moral universe is long mm -hmm. but it bends towards justice uh, and I believe that and I think that uh, that's consonant with uh, with uh, Jewish traditions uh, you know, that, that sense that if uh, we are working hard, if, if uh, we apply uh, the principles of tikkun and, 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 and repairing the world, that it's possible uh, for us not to create a perfect world, but one that's a little more just, a little more fair, uh, a little better for our children. I, I continue to believe that. Uh, my final question, Mr. President, much has been made um, about obviously your historic victory and being the first uh, African American right. president. Can I ask you to share with us um, that moment where the enormity of the historic significance sort of hit you? Uh, it's, I don't think it's still, uh, it still has hit me yet. <laughs> really? Uh, it, it, you know, I, it, we were just talking about how you broke uh, some ground as, as, uh, as a woman anchor. And I, I'm sure that's not what you think about every day. You think about, can I get this story done? It, it, you know, uh, am I uh, performing uh, in, in a way that uh, meets my standards? And, and that's how you feel when you're in the presidency. I think you uh, have a lot of responsibilities and a lot of concerns. And each day, you are just trying to make sure that uh, you are, um, A, doing the best you can, B, um, making sure that you're making decisions for the right reason. Um, and I do think that uh, there have been moments in the presidency when I'm making a decision about deploying young men and women uh, into the battlefield. Uh, or you know, we're making very consequential decisions about the world economy and, uh, where uh, you know, the answers are not always 100% obvious and you're making judgment calls. And it's during those moments where you are reminded that uh, uh, you can't behave like a politician. You, you can't put your finger out to the wind. You can't base your actions on polls. Uh, you, you have to make a decision on what you think is right uh, and uh, then let history judge uh, how, uh, how you did. Can you tell us what is the thing you missed most about your life before the presidency? Uh, taking walks. <laughs> you, you know, the, uh, um, there is a value to anonymity in terms of just being able to wander around, uh, sit on a park bench, take your kids uh, to get ice cream without having, you know, uh, Secret Service and helicopters over you.
uh, you know, that, that part of, uh, part of this life uh, I'll never get used to. Uh, in fact, I remember, uh, you know, uh, when I first visited Jerusalem, you know, I could wander through uh, you know, the, the, the old city and, and haggle for, you know, some gifts to bring back to Michelle or, or, or stand uh, at, uh, at the Wailing Wall, and people didn't know who I was. Uh, and, and that is uh, uh, a profound pleasure that uh, is very hard to experience. Now, the last time, the, 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 the second time I went to the Wailing Wall, I put uh, my prayer, and uh, somebody pulled it out. And the next thing I know, it was printed uh, yep. in the newspaper. <laughs> and that I we think was we have to do a, our job. That, that, that was a that was a pretty good metaphor for uh, for uh, the changes that you experience as, as, as time goes on. Indeed, a change. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you.